Now, these stem cells can be used to um, replace damaged cells. It can repair tissues, and we use this in tissue engineering. Reg so, as you kijk, these stem cells can be used for therapeutic cloning. Now, what is therapeutic cloning? Therapeutic cloning is waar ons bijvoorbeeld um, vir therapeutische doeleindes om iets te herstel, to fix something, to repair something. Now stem cells, this um, history of stem cell and the research on this has started very long ago, as you can see in 1938. I'm not going to read through this, but just to show you that this has come along for quite a long time. In eerste 1997, by the Rosalind Institute, was die eerste skaap met die naam Dolly um, gekloon. En nie uit a, of a eiersel uit nie, maar uit a gewone boorsel van a ander skaap. And this is somatic cell nuclear transfer or cloning as we know it. Now how is this done? Once again it's steps, so I'm just going to go through this for you. If we look at this, I'm, I'm going to Oh, use okay. Dolly. They have taken a breast cell of a six-year-old sheep, a boar cell from a six-year-old oh, skull. Yeah, yeah, the oyer. Yeah, the oyer. The plaaskinners there above. Yeah, oyer from the skull. Yeah. What did they do with the boar cell? They took the kern there out of the water. See, you see, the kern had to be out of the water. They took a sea goat, a oyer cell. En daar die kern, jy sal sien, dit is een lee eiersel. Met ander woorde, hierdie oewem, they have taken the nucleus from this and they have placed that nucleus from the breast cell into the oewem and this is what they, they had and they gave it an electrical shock and that's a very important thing because it had consequences. So, by doing this, they had 434, not that you have to know this, successfully reconstructed eggs, but just to show you how many times they have tried. From this, they only had 29 reconstructed eggs. In dit het hulle geplaas in half swanger skaap, in pseudo-pregnant sheep. Now, what is a pseudo-pregnant sheep? Lorraine. If we can think of this. Um, those of you who have done... Um, fertilization and reproduction in humans, you know that no egg can be accepted in the uterus if the uterus lining or the uterine lining, the endometrium is not prepared for mm. this. So a pseudo-pregnant sheep is where they injected hormones into those sheep to prepare them to accept this egg, this fertilized egg. And this, in this instance, it's not a fertilized egg, but it's the nucleus of a, another cell that was placed into the egg. And the only successful cloned sheep from this was Dolly. So from 434 of these cells, you see, and this process, this process was done to start mitosis. And this, this is quite interesting. Is Very that, interesting. Yeah, is that they, they do have to give that little bit of an electric shock. And I think some of the learners might have seen old Frankenstein movies. Yeah. Yeah, where they put the parts together from, they take from bodies from coffins and then also send an electric shock through it and then you get Frankenstein. Of course, it's not remotely anything like that. Don't think it. I've actually had one of my learners ask me, so that's, I don't know if oh, other okay. people have the same idea. But um, it's very important, that little electric shock, because as Carden said, that starts mitosis. In other words, it starts the embryo to grow. Why do they put the nucleus of the mammary gland, so the mammary cell, in, or, uh, um, into an ovum from which the um, nucleus was removed? What, what can be the use of that or the reason for that? Why not in any other cell? I think in science, mm. in, in, in science it's very important that we understand why is it that we do things. Mm. And, and this is also that you have to concentrate on things like this because these are the types of questions that you can expect. So um, just think about it. Mm. They have taken a normal nucleus from a normal cell and placed it into a, an ovum. Want mm. daar die ovum, sy inhoud, is, is ook nog, 
um, die organelle, wat ook hulle ei DNA het, het ook nog niet oud geword nie, is niet beskadig nie, daar is niet chemische stoffen nie. So the ovum is actually also the best mm. that could be given to that new nucleus. Ja. En as ons nou praat van hierdie mm. eiersel, of die, 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 nou nie die eiersel nie, maar die eier, die boorsel, dan moet jy weet, dit is een mm. gewone lichaamsel, dit is een somatische cel. And what does this mean? And if we can look at the slide there, it means that the DNA of a somatic cell still contains all the information needed to direct or to form an entire new organism. A normal somatic cell was used to form a new or an entire organism. And I think that is the importance that Lorraine wanted to point mm, out to you. Mm. So onthou nou dit, a gewone somatiese sal was gebruik, en dit het oorsprong gegee aan Dolly. En wat belangrijk is, is dat hierdie somatiese sal het, is, met andere woorde, dit is een sal wat het een uier uitgevat het. Daar is sal het nie so geword, dat sy DNA nou net uierwerk kon doen nie. In other words, we can also take, ach, you, you can take a, a cell from my upper arm, which means that if that cell was used in a cloning, it would not just form upper arm skin mm -hmm. DNA or directions for that cell to do it. So you can really um, switch on the DNA again, so that maybe that nucleus can turn, can direct the cell to become other organs, other tissues. And that's really an important aspect. 